Yo, what's going on, guys? Your boy EQ. Man, I hope everything is going well with you guys today, baby. <coughs> it's been raining, man. It's been raining for like a week. I'm not kidding. But I ain't mad because that pollen. Y'all can see I'm still coughing from it. I got allergies, dog. A detailer with allergies. Imagine that. <laughs> but it is what it is. To all you bosses, get you a cup. Because I'm proud of y'all guys. Cheers. Mm. Man, it's been a great week, man. Uh, just got done washing my car. The rain, the rain finally stopped. My wife and my daughter are getting ready to go out of town tomorrow. My daughter got hired on one of the big corporations. So, you know, you're always proud of your kids, you know, when your kids do well. So, uh, proud of Zena. You know, she's uh, done well for herself. Uh, finished college, got a degree, and now she's on the way. So, uh, anytime your kids do well, you got to smile. All right. What I want to talk to you guys about today, man, is how to make your own car scent. All right? This is what, this is, this is my way of making a car scent. I don't know what somebody else do. You guys know what I always say. Do you? <laughs> but anyway, this is a downy fresh car scent that I make. And I'm going to tell y'all how I make it. The first thing you want to do is get you a big bottle like this. You know what I mean? I use this one because, you know, it lasts me longer. You know, I can pour it in a spray bottle. You know, it lasts me longer. Basically, what I do, you can, everything I'm going to tell you, you can go to the dollar store and get it. First thing you're going to need, get you a bottle. Or you can get you a spray, uh, a spray bottle. doesn't matter. But this, like I said, it lasts you longer because you can just pour it in a spray bottle. Uh, I, use this own, I, I, I use this scent in my own car. Anytime somebody get in my car, they're like, man, what is that smell? Even when I take it to the dealership, they'll be like, man, who does your car? And I'll be like, well, I'm a private detailer, you know. Like, oh, man, your car smells good. So I appreciate it. Anyway, guys, go to the dollar store and get you some laundry detergent beads. Beads. Don't get you some laundry detergent. <laughs> get the beads, you heard? Don't mean come back and like, damn, EJ. You told me wrong, man. I got in that car and that car started turning colors and blah, blah, blah. Listen, boy. <laughs> get the bees, you know. And get the, you know, open them up. You know, they got those bottles that you can squeeze and smell. Which one you like? You know what I mean? I'm a downy guy because my wife uses downy. Downy fresh, you know. So I, I, I like the smell of downy. So anyway, so you'll get you a bottle of that. It'll get you a couple of bottles. You know, it doesn't matter, you know. Uh, and you got to get you some baking soda, all right? A box of baking soda. That's all you need. So you come home, and what I do, uh, I get one of these bottles, or you can get a spray bottle. This bottle lasts long, so I can just pour it in a spray bottle. So I take me a funnel, put it on top. Now, if you want a strong smell, just go ahead and pour the whole bottle of uh, laundry detergent bees in there. Just pour it in there. Now, here's the most important part. I take me some hot water. I boil my water on the stove. Literally, boil it. And I take me a funnel and I pour the hot water in there. I want those bees to dissolve big time. So I take another pot of water until I get to here. You know, another hot water until I get to here. Now, once I got this full, I take the baking soda. And take me a... Um, Maybe a two tablespoons, you know, dump it in there. Remember, the water is already hot. And what that baking soda does is make it stick together. The water, the bees, and the baking soda. It just makes it, you know, combine. Anyway, once you're done with that, you put the top back on. This bottle is going to expand. So, you know, the bottle is going to be hot. So kind of watch yourself. But anyway, I just take the top back off. Let the steam out. Put the top back on, shake it up, and you ready, baby. <laughs> you ready. Easy as one, two, three. Laundry detergent bees, whichever one that you prefer, <laughs> smell, you know, uh, which uh, scent that you like, uh, baking soda, and hot water. I use this in my own car. And even when I take my car to a dealership, you know, they be like, man, the car smells good. So appreciate it. 
I use it in my wife's car. I use it in some of my clients' car. Now, how you use this, you spray it with a spray bottle on the carpet or whatever and take your microfiber rag and wipe it in. Because remember, it has baking soda in it. So it'll leave a white film if you just spray it and you just leave it there. So just, you know, be in mind to wipe it in the carpet. Now, what I did one time just to enhance my smell, I sprayed it on a rag and wiped up my, my uh, seats with it and my door panels with it. It didn't do any damage to my BMW at all. And I was proud of that because I was scared. <laughs> I just going to see what it's going to do. But anyway, guys, that's my secret to making my own car scent. So like I said, they got different scents that you can buy in those laundry detergent uh, beads. So choose your weapon. Sorry I hadn't made a video in a while, guys. Uh, I've, been dip, I've been deep into the crypto world. If you want to find me, like Michael Jackson say, come on, I'll be in the crypto world because I'm making a killing in that crypto world. <laughs> Y'all be cool, man. Deuces.